junior scientist. Keep your eyes on the task at hand while I, Teacher Gob, show you how to complete Activity 2 entitled Metal Metal, How Reactive Are You? The objectives of this activity are Number 1. Compare the relative reactivity of metals in acid solution. And number two, find ways of preventing corrosion due to reactivity of metals. And here are the materials needed. A piece of copper wire, 4 cm long. A strip of aluminum, 4 by 1 cm. An iron nail, 1 inch long. 250 ml 10 to 12 percent hydrochloric acid commercially sold muriatic acid three pieces of 100 ml beaker 25 ml graduated cylinder a sandpaper reminder Muriatic acid is corrosive to skin. Do not do this activity at home. Just watch this video to be able to learn about the reactivity of metals. Here are the procedures. Number 1. Get the beakers and using 25 ml graduated cylinder, pour 10 ml of muriatic acid into each beaker. Number 2. Prepare the iron nail, copper wire, and strip of aluminum metals. Clean these metal samples by rubbing them with sandpaper. Number 3. Place the iron nail in one beaker containing muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid and observe. Number 4. Observe for 3 minutes. Record all observed changes in the table below. Here is the table 1. Data for activity 2. Check and describe the metal observed. Number 5. Repeat procedure number 3 to 4 using each of the remaining metals. Compare the results. Please answer this. Question number one. Which of these metals, iron, copper, and aluminum, reacts with muriatic acid? Number 6. Arrange the metals in the order of their decreasing reactivity. Number 7. A reaction does not always happen between a metal and a compound. In this case, the reaction of metals with acid, hydrochloric acid, produces bubbles of hydrogen and a colorless solution of metal chloride. There is an existing definite order of reactivity existing among metals and hydrogen according to their ability to displace one another. This arrangement is called the metal reactivity series or activity series of metals. The activity series is an arrangement of metals according to decreasing order of reactivity. Question number 2. What is the position with respect to hydrogen in the activity series of the metals that reacted or unreacted with muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid in the activity? Number 8. 
Locate the positions in the periodic table of the following elements from the activity series. These are the members of the representative block. Potassium, Sodium, Lithium, Calcium, Magnesium, and Aluminum. Question number 3. Potassium, Sodium, Lithium are metals belonging to group 1. In this group, how does reactivity vary, increasing or decreasing from top to bottom in the periodic table? Question number 4. Does the relative reactivity of calcium and magnesium follow this trend? Question number 5. Sodium, magnesium, and aluminum belong to period 2. Does reactivity increase or decrease from left to right among elements in a period? Number 9. From your answer in question number 3 to 5, make a generalization of the variation among the reactivity of metals from those belonging to a group and for those belonging to a period. Number 10. Refer to the table, activity series of metals. Question number 6. Which will be more reactive in the following pairs of metals in every case? Letter A. Magnesium or sodium with hydrochloric acid? Letter B. Silver or aluminum with hydrochloric acid? C. Iron or zinc with copper sulfate? Number 11. Think about the changes that you have observed around you, particularly those involving metals. You may also try to recall what you have done in grade 7 when you place an iron nail in a container of acetic acid. Question number 7. What harmful change or changes is or are brought um, about when a metal reacts or mixes with acids? Question number 8. What are some ways of preventing corrosion of metals? That will be all for activity number 2. Metal, metal, how reactive are you? Again, I'm Teacher Gob, and have an ag-amazing day!